So, this talk is about how even someone like me or Dick can create sexy web applications. Yeah, no, leave me, leave me out of this. You don't want that on the old, on the old red post. Go All right. So, back by popular demand, this is an old one, but a good one. Yeah. This is uh, Eli Greenfield's anatomy book. So, with this one, this is a reusable component you can use in Flex. And it's just a book component. We can flip open the pages here. And you'll see that they're even transparent. We can see the different layers of the body there. So it's just like as if we were interacting with a real book. So that's a cool component that you can use in your Flex applications and do fun things with. So this is a really good example of something you cannot do with the HTML. Better do your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something else that you can do with Flex and DHTML together. <laughs> So this is the eBay desktop application with Air and Flex and DHTML. So with this one, uh, we we can actually you can actually go to desktop.ebay.com, download this, use this today. You can buy great things on eBay like motorcycles. My wife gets really excited when I start shopping around for motorcycles. But what you can see here is that we're actually pulling in uh, eBay is actually pulling in the item description just as it is on the website. This one's not too exciting, uh, but but just the HTML will look just the same in the Air application as it will within the web application on eBay.com. But we also get the cool things that Flash can do, like flip through photos once they all load, which the network is a little slow, so you can't see them all loading there. <coughs> yeah, the network's a little slow, so we'll wait for that to load. We'll do one other cool application here, see if we get those to, to load. So the next one is, where to go? My browser, just here, okay. So the next one is actually a um, application that Discovery Channel created. And this one's pretty cool because it uses some cool 3D stuff. So this is Earth Live. And on this one, we can pull up a 3D Earth. And it takes a second to load here while that's loading. Man, someone's, someone's continuing to watch YouTube. Business time. <laughs> Business time. And we get a nice error message in Flash Player. Fantastic. Okay, good. Things are failing. Fantastic. All right, we'll move on to the Scala <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so. When you, when you have internet access, things work a little differently. But So this one I want to show is a cool little example of using Scala and Flex together. So I wrote a cool little Scala, or basic Scala class that is just going to uh, take a string and then say hello and then whatever I, I pass in as a string. And then I have another one um, that is, is uh, just more basic. So I've got two functions and I'm going to call those for my Flex application. So I've defined my two remote objects that connect to those, those Scala classes. And then we have a label that's just gonna, going to get one, uh, the say hello method from the first one. And then we have a text input that when we enter text into this text input, it's going to then output that into uh, another label. So not super exciting, but it does show that um, hopefully if my browser decides to work. Uh, <coughs> Let's go run this thing. One second, here we go. <coughs> so we'll run this application in our browser, and this one doesn't require internet, so we'll be okay. So here is, sorry Linux is a little crazy with my screen resolution, but. So here is a quick little, just connecting to Scala, just went out to that Scala uh, service running on the back end. All right, moving on. I want to show two other quick things. One is an application that I wrote called Say Hello, or no, sorry, MyTube, MyTube. This one will uh, go out to YouTube, fetch some videos, and display those in a CoverFlow component. And then we can play these videos in the CoverFlow component, and we can even switch to the, the next one. You'll see that this one is even still playing, and that's kind of cool, little CoverFlow component there. And then the next one, the last one here, is an Air application that I actually uh, am playing a video. And I've, I'm reading the accelerometer on my laptop. So now I can actually pick up my laptop and twist my laptop around. I stole this idea from Josh Marinacci last year, so I can't take full credit for it. 
but as I turn my laptop, it actually is twisting the video to match the, the orientation of my laptop. So, <laughs> it's kind of fun. That's it. Cool. <laughs>